Hey, Kevin Clay here with some quick tips from my friends in the auto industry about how to use social media to help you with your car sales. Now, first of all, let's look at the number one mistake that car dealerships tend to use with social media. And it's the same mistake that other businesses use. They tend to see social media as just another form of mass media. So what do I mean by that? Well, mass media is you have a message, you know, our new cars are on sale now. You send it out to 10,000 people and you hope that, you know, maybe you know, 2 to 5% of them, whatever, that get it are actually interested in your product. And so that's mass media. Social media though, the difference would be like, well, Say you went to one of these business mixers that these chambers of commerce have from time to time. Now if you walk into there and you start saying, save like never before, the new shipment of 09s is in, or whatever you're we're up to now. Anyway, people might look at you kind of funny. Instead, you kind of get to know the people a little bit. And, oh, you drive a Jeep, do you like it? Well, have you seen the new Wranglers? Or, oh, so, you know, comfort's big, you travel a lot. Well, have you tried the new Cadillac or the new Avalon or whatever it is? That's social media. It's more of a one-on-one -on -one thing. So, so how, does that, how does that translate? Well, here's the deal. When I see car dealerships on, say, Facebook, uh, a lot of times what they do is they just take a, maybe a print ad and they've got your know, sponsored ad. See this here. And you, can, and you can use Facebook like mass media and you can target a lot of people and spend a lot of money. But wouldn't it be better, instead of just hitting, say, 10,000 people and hoping for that 2 to 5%, wouldn't it be more effective and cheaper if you could target people actually interested in your product, people who had a need for it. Okay, so how do you do that? Well, let's get down to the nuts and bolts of it. Uh, what you need to do is, just like in real life, in social settings, you need to build a relationship. They need to get to know you. So you as the owner of the dealership or as the salespeople in the dealership that people will actually be dealing with when they come in or some kind of spokesperson. But I, I prefer people actually at the dealership have them do some video to put on social media, kind of like what we're doing right now, except it's about cars. And you've already got people who like your page, okay? You can boost this post. You know, when you put it out there, you boost it, put a few dollars behind it, and you say this goes to people who like my page and their friends, because you get people with like interests. You know, if this guy is of the, the mindset that he really likes driving a luxury car, chances are he hangs out with other people who like that. Or if he's driving a big old truck, uh, pretty sure he's probably got some truck driving buddies he hangs out with, that he's friends with on Facebook. And, and we are, we're kind of specifically looking at Facebook, but you, you also post these things on there. You know, there's Facebook and Instagram, I mean, sorry, yeah, YouTube and Instagram and all kinds of other things. But Facebook is the big thing for right now, today, uh, and it's pretty affordable to use. So that's how you do it. You get your guy. And what this does also, now instead of you just being that big dealership on the side of the road that they don't know anybody, now they actually get to know you. And no, hey, there's somebody there in charge. Well, look, it's old Bob. He's in charge. If I have a problem, I can probably go to Bob. He seems like a nice guy. Or maybe Bob's the salesperson there or the sales manager or whatever. You know, as long as they get to know someone. Because see, that's always the problem with any business. And whether you're a car dealership or a bank or a dentist or, or whatever, especially you know, these elective type things, people are kind of scared to go in. They're scared they're going to be looked down on. You know what? That's all the money you've got. What are you doing at our business? Or maybe they're afraid that they're going to get hold of a fast talker who's going to railroad them into something. Let them know that you are, hopefully, a real human being and that you care about getting them in the best vehicle possible. So that's sort of the basic of it. Use video and it's, it's not that difficult. Promote that on your Facebook page. And once again, and not, we've got all these cars for sale, but Hey, you know, these are people who already like your product, right? They're, they're people who like your page, so most likely they do. Have you seen what we've got in this new thing? And it's that old thing that you know, really sell the sizzle. Have you guys sitting in the car? Have you seen this? Have you seen what this button does? It's a passenger eject seat. Isn't that wonderful? Or whatever it is, something to really relate, like you would do in a one on one conversation, and not so much that, you know, buy now, save like never before, because that's not the way real people talk. That's not social. So, that's basically the social part of it. Now there is another part too. I mentioned video. So, but if all you wanted to know is social and Facebook, uh, okay, we're done. I know you're busy. Thanks. Have a great day. But now let's talk about the super secret extra part. I've noticed at car dealerships that a lot of times on the weekends when they're closed, say Sunday or even after hours, there's all kinds of people wandering around the lots. Why is that? 
Well, I think it goes back to what we talked about before. You know, people are afraid that somebody's going to get them and try to talk them into something they don't want. Or maybe they're just starting to put their thoughts together and they can't think with somebody there, what would it take to put you in this vehicle today? Well, I don't know if I want that vehicle. I might want that vehicle over there. You know, so you know, that's one reason. And it's Once again, it's that fear of the unknown. How are these guys going to treat me? Well, you can still talk to these people even when you're not there. How do you do that? Well, let me show you. Remember that whole video thing that I talked about earlier? Say someone's looking at your new vans. What if you had a piece of paper like this? And uh, thanks to my friends at Everett for letting me use them as the example. A uh, piece of paper like this with a QR code. So a QR code, now, wait, I think I've heard about those. Are those still a thing? Yes, they are. Actually, now with the Apple iPhone, with, uh, I guess, iOS 11 and up, if they just point their camera at the QR code, their phone will automatically take them to whatever link it is. Or they can have a QR code reader. You say, well, what if they don't do QR codes? Well, you also put an actual link down here that they can go to. And I just, for example, have ridevids.com and then a number. Where does this go? Well, remember those videos I told you about where now Bob's in there tell them, hey, here's the really cool thing about this van. Or, you know, this, this truck right here can get you through any kind of terrain and make sure you get it or whatever it is you're trying to really highlight about that. You've got a video hosted on, say, YouTube, because pretty much every phone can handle YouTube. Host it there, and then if the person wants more information, they scan the code, the video pops up on their phone, and not only are they learning about the car, but even in my opinion, more importantly, they're learning about your dealership. They're learning about Bob or Susie or you know whoever the salesperson is, and they're kind of getting a feel for who they are. And so now, once again, no fear of the unknown. They already know that person because that person is giving them the information that they want. Once again, that's social media. Mass media is we're blasting this information whether you want it or not. Here it is. Social media is, hey, here's something I think you might be interested in. That's social. So now they're getting to know more about your vehicle. They get to know more about the salesperson. And it's just as simple as putting these on your card. Now, just a little pro tip here. If you're going to do that, uh, and you can print these out. There, there are plenty of free QR code generators online where you'll make a code, link it to a website, your particular address, whatever. But uh, if you do, you can tape these to your car. Make sure you use good paper and don't use regular, you know, printer ink. You need a, a laser printer so when it rains, it doesn't start to smudge and rain. In fact, I'll tell you the stuff that I use. Check this out. Bucket of water. Put this in here. Take it out. Look at that. Look at that. Is that cool or what? Anyway, that is uh, it's some paper I designed myself uh, in my secret laboratory. It's, no, I'm just kidding. I bought this on Amazon. Anyway, you can buy waterproof paper and uh, it lasts up. You can even set QR codes to be reused if you don't want to have to reprint new signs all the time. You can just change what the link goes to and stick this on another car. But anyway, so that's just a little inside tip on how you can actually market to people when you're not even at your dealership. Very simple. If you'd like to know more or need help with details or whatever, uh, or of course I can take care of this for you. I got no problem problem with that. But uh, either way, just give me a call. Numbers on the screen. I'd love to chit chat with you. I'm Kevin Clay. Have a fantastic day. Oh.